High School and Kingwood Park High School have all been renovated. All of that building, all of that construction, all of those renovations have been based on these recommendations. So the recommendations were to create smaller learning communities, we call them SLCs, of 400 students in a house with AP and counselor teams and 25 teachers who live in that house. And the idea is that this functions as a, as a house. It's a surrogate house. It's like the house that your family lives in. And this assistant principal and this counselor and these 25 teachers know these 400 schools, students rather, as they move through the ninth grade, the 10th grade, the 11th grade, and the 12th grade. They know them well. They become student advocates. They become the adult advocates. In addition to that, we've embedded in our high schools of the future professional learning community collaboration time. This is critical because this is what allows our faculty, our staff, our teachers to focus on student learning, to focus on what students are learning or what they're not learning and do something about it as opposed to just giving students a grade and moving on. That was an educational specification. Another specification was advisory, and this isn't what we used to think of as homeroom. This is actually a class where 25 students and their teachers work through the entire school, four years of school, and they learn leadership skills. They learn how to build relationships. They learn how to establish trust with one another and with adults. They do service learning projects. They come together as a group, a little mini HESI, if you will, so that they can determine how it is that they're going to make their school a better place, how it is that they're going to make their community a better place, all the while learning about themselves. They've all, and another specification is service learning opportunities. Service learning is a pedagogy. It's a way to learn. And what happens in service learning is that you take the components of English and writing, or you take the components of math and science, or you take the historical components of social studies, or the visual arts, or the performing arts. And what you do is, as your gift is that which you excel in. You go out into the community and you learn how to apply your gifts. You work in the community. We have many of our students that serve in elementary campuses. They become mentors and tutors to the younger students and teaching them how to read, teaching them how to write teaching them how to play basketball, being those mentors. We have students that go out into the community to work in um, car dealerships, to work in engineering firms. All of those are service learning opportunities. Learn serving the community while you're applying the learning that you have received in your classrooms. And finally, <clears throat> the hallmark of our High Schools of the Future Task Force was rigorous and relevant curriculum instruction and assessment. And remember the student dropouts? They said they wanted rigorous learning. They wanted high standards. So that's what's embedded in, this, in these high school task force. All right, so what are we doing in Humble ISD specifically? If those are the specifications that guide us, what are the entities, what are the organizations that actually operationalize it? One of those is Quest High School. Quest High School has been in existence now for 12 years. Quest High School, remember I was the principal of Quest High School for a while, but Quest High School was the premier research and development school for Humble ISD. And as a result, it tested out all of these educational specifications. It tested out this family concept. It tested out this AP counselor team. It tested out this advisory concept. So we had our own research and development going on, and it was that which formed the basis of our task force recommendations. Currently, Quest High School has 278 students. They're located in the Community Learning Center building, which is on 1960 off of Timberwood, uh, Timbershade. And, but for the 2009-10 school year and for probably the next four or five years, it's actually going to be moved to Summer Creek High School, the new high school off of the Beltway, because it will occupy one of the communities there. The hallmark of Quest High School is integrated, uh, integrated curriculum. And basically what this means is that they don't teach algebra isolatedly all by itself. They don't teach biology isolatedly all by itself. They integrate science and math. They integrate English, reading, language arts, and social science. They integrate technology across all of those curriculum areas. So it's a very integrated approach to learning. In addition, 
One of the hallmarks of Quest High School is that students do service learning every Wednesday. Students literally get on the bus, go out into the community, and serve the community while they're learning how to deal with adults, how to deal with children, how to impart the knowledge that they have. They're learning leadership skills, they're learning organization skills, they're learning time management skills, but they're out in the community every Wednesday doing that. In addition to that, they are the premier adult advocacy model with their family structure that meets every day. And when they meet every day, this is where they do those activities of building trust, relationships, understanding each other. And finally, and this, this is the ultimate hallmark, students at Quest High School have to graduate by senior experience. And what this is, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's almost, it almost mirrors like a master's thesis. It almost mirrors to some degree a doctoral dissertation. But what it is is that a group of students in their junior year start to identify a, a social problem that they are interested in. For example, I'll give you um, one that, that happened when I was the principal at Quest High School. There was a group of girls. There were four girls. And they had this extraordinarily intense interest in eating disorders because they, they had been a part of it, they had personally experienced it, but they, they were very, very much interested in re eating disorders. So what these four girls decided to do was to come together and they decided to research it, but they researched it in four aspects. They researched the health issues associated with eating disorders. They researched the marketing, the media aspect of eating disorders, how every day young girls are bombarded with skinny bodies, skinny, skinny images, you know, those kinds of media um, propaganda that, that create this sense of eating disorders. Then one girl was very much interested in the psychological aspects of eating disorders. How is it that some of us end up with eating disorders but others don't? Psychologically, what's happening there? And then another girl was very interested in the physiological. What does it do to our bodies? the internal makeup, the biological, physiological body. So what they did is they came together. And for the entire senior year, they had to learn to work together. They had to take each of their body of research and merge it. And then they had to develop a service learning project, a way in which they could communicate their research and their findings to make the community a better place and have it be sustainable long after they were gone. So what they did is they worked with Lone Star College, which was Kingwood College at the time, and they worked with the governing board to do an all-day staff development session for counselors, for diagnosticians, for licensed psychologists in the surrounding districts. And they presented their findings, and these counselors and these diagnosticians and these healthcare workers were able to receive credit in advancing their career as a result of the work that these girls had done. That's the kind of senior experience that's required to graduate from Quest High School. And remember, what did the dropout say? They said they wanted something that was real world. They wanted something that was experiential. They wanted something that they could work into the community. And that's what it is at Quest High School. And I know I'm kind of running out of time, so.